My Santa Clara degree has uh, served me very well. I've had a very nice career and I feel like I owe something to the law school for making it possible. I met her at a gathering of women judges and I was so impressed with her that I thought we've got to get this woman as a magistrate judge in our court. So the next time we had an opening I encouraged her to apply for it and she applied and got it. She does what she knows is right and what she thinks is right and she doesn't worry the consequences. One of the things as a judge that I can do that others can't do and that is to take interns into my chambers and to provide continuing education for them. The kind of exposure that the students get working for a federal judge is invaluable. All I really want from the students is that they are interested and engaged and they contribute with their questions and with their own observations. And I tell you, my recent Santa Clara students, I've had three over the last couple of years, they all came at different times as well, but they were so good and their, their work was as good as any of the students from any of the, of the other Bay Area schools and better and I'm very, very proud of them. She was really a joy to watch. I mean, she really taught me a lot, and I learned a lot just from observing her and, you know, that unique perspective you get w working with a judge where you get to talk in chambers and, and really realize and learn just how discerning and Judge Hamilton can be and how, how important the bench is to this profession. What I've noticed about her is that she listens to the lawyers and tries to make the court make things easier for the lawyers. She uh, reads what the lawyers write in with suggestions about the local rules and actually pays attention to them and follows up on them and makes the changes that are suggested. Uh, she's had some major projects trying to get all of us judges to stop issuing little idiosyncratic general orders for everybody and making everybody have to do things different ways in every courtroom. Sitting through her law and motion calendars, um, getting to talk with her on a weekly basis, that was the best legal job I think I'll ever have. It would be fair to say that if I wasn't there sitting in the file room, I wouldn't be the man I am today. And that's part of the collaborative nature of her chambers, which was everybody participated in those discussions. Although the bottom line decision is the judge's decision, Judge Hamilton would even ask us, the externs, what we thought about the case or the argument. And that just, that's invaluable to a law student who's never been in contact with any of this. Judge Hamilton has inspired me to be the best attorney I can be. It's, it's one of those experiences I, I don't think you can mimic. And I was very fortunate um, to work with Judge Hamilton and, and learn so much. And, Judge Hamilton has continued to, to keep in contact and I wasn't expecting that and that kind of care towards pr the profession and young attorneys in the profession is, has, is really inspiring to, you know, I want to do the same uh, in my future career. So I want to thank Judge Hamilton for that. I'd like simply to be a role model, to look at my career and feel some measure of inspiration to feel that perhaps they can do the same thing and to um, simply know that it just takes hard work, you hone your legal skills, you protect your reputation, because that's the one thing you can control and it's so important. I certainly hope that I have to some extent lived up to the high standards that Dean and then Judge Owens has uh, set for members of the legal community.